system in America. White supremacy is the problem. Jews just happen to be white. I think Irving shows a good example of the immaturity possessed by many Jews who overreact and, uh, uh, shall we say, uh, disrespect blacks' legitimate concerns regarding Jews. Mr. It, appears Copley, as if, Mr. Copley, it appears as if people like Irving have a certain level of immaturity that they just can't imagine that a person that talks as illegitimate as he talks is not in some form Mr. 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 Coakley, Mr. Coakley, or, or, or shall we say so peewee that he isn't even worth responding to. But Mr. Coakley, you can't blame him for reacting when you get up before an audience and read a statement, I don't care where it comes from, to the effect that Jewish doctors are inoculating black kids with AIDS. Well, I think what you ought to do is look at the New York Times, which talked about the doctors in Zaire who, were, who got an agreement with Mobutu to shoot up black people. This ethnic weapons program is being used all over the world. Unfortunately, Mr. Coakley, it also Mr. Coakley you mentioned the ethnic well. weapons program. How much of the problems in the black community of Chicago are the blacks' own fault? Well, white supremacy is the main problem in our community. If we How resolve much of the problems are your own if we, fault? Excuse me. If we resolve white supremacy, we will resolve the problems of unemployment. We will resolve the problems of bad housing. Oh, the Reagan white. administration probably represented the epitome of white supremacy by cutting into every domestic livable program that whites and blacks had, especially poor people, and they showed their relationship with these people by proving their insensitivity. Now, well, Mr. Coakley, Mr. Coakley, you've attacked Jesse Jackson, you attacked the late Mayor Harold Washington, you called them colorless. What black leaders, political leaders, in this country do you respect? Well, I think politics has a way of accommodation. I don't think we have true political leaders in the sense of that you're going to find purity in politics. Politics is about accommodation and compromise. When our black leaders go into politics, as was discussed recently in Harper's Magazine, blacks have to prove to whites that they will protect their interests first. That's why politics is not the type of game that we're going to continue to invest all our time in, because it's proven that it doesn't work. Politics will not whip white supremacy. But clear, accurate, documented challenges to white supremacy, as well as action, grassroots action, taking against the forces of white supremacy. I thought it was all awfully right, Mr. strange. Coakley. Okay. Mr. Coakley, we have to take a break for a commercial. Mr. Levin, same. We'll be back in just a minute. You heard what Mr. Coakley said, and you don't agree with him, and I don't agree with him. I don't think Pat agrees with him. But I would really... aren't, you, aren't you going, aren't you taking this to the limits when you call him names on this program and when you make the remarks you make about violence? You know, I got to tell you something. I really had tremendous reservations about coming on this program with him because, as Pat said, you're building him up. Nobody would know what he is, animal, vegetable, or mineral, but we're building him up. <laughs> so the fact is you've got to call him exactly what he is. I would like to ask him, if I may, why is it that every night in Los Angeles there's a mini holocaust going on here and it's got nothing to do with white racism. We have black kids killing black kids over cocaine, over other kinds of dope and paraphernalia. Why isn't he here? Why isn't his Farrakhan fellow here trying to stop the black on black carnage that's going on in this nation? Black raving gangs traveling throughout this nation killing other black people. All right, Mr. Coakley, answer him. Well, since you gave him the privilege to ask a question, and I then will expect the same privilege subsequent to that, you can uh, have I it. think I think uh, it's very clear that black-on-black uh, uh, -black crime and other syndromes in the black community are what black people do when they don't understand who the enemy is. Part of the problem with the tapes that were heard by those who played them was that in those tapes were names of very prominent people. It talked about the Trilateral Commission, the Council on Foreign Relations, the Bilderberger Group. It the talked about Zion those things. It talked about, no, we're not that immature. I don't, I don't believe in the word conspiracy. As a researcher, it's my job to present the best evidence. I think that the best evidence is what should go forward and that you all ought to grow up enough to be able to dialogue with blacks who have legitimate concerns, who just so happen may have been trained by you, who understand your pathologies well, and who would expect you to step up for the dialogue rather than to continue to stoop down. I think Irvin is a stupor. Now, Irvin, I'd like to ask you, what positive contribution have you made in the last 20 years of your life to, to, to have added something to this problem of black Jewish relationships Rather than to be, the, to be the manipulator that you are, obviously you're not on this show for any positive contribution. Well, just, I'll tell you, just what is your game? I'll tell you exactly what I did. And I, perhaps I'm foolish for it now because I realize where you're coming from. I went down south to Forsyth County, Georgia, 
And I marched with about 25,000 beautiful people, both black and white, and thank God you weren't there. Because my stomach would have turned and I would have had to throw up all over you. If you, you don't know there. that I wasn't there. Well, I didn't see you and thank God I didn't. Because well, if I, I hadn't done anything in the last 20 years, except stand up to animals like you, then there's a place in heaven for me. Well, see, what's, prob what's the problem with the black-Jewish relationships across the country and now? You're the problem. We have you to admit are the problem. that there has been no violence on the part of blacks towards whites, probably even though there's reason for some, some violence. And I think by exacerbating the racial tensions. What do you got against I, Christians? I hope that you all know, uh, Pat and Mr. Braden, that on the national level in Congress, there's an attempt to pass anti-group defamation laws. In fact, Newsweek on June 6th did an article about it, where out of Hofstra University has come the desire to outlaw racial slurs. And those people that were alluded to in the article said that they were going to spend this summer setting the climate to make it possible to outlaw racial slurs and make a gentleman like myself a criminal, though I've never been arrested in my life. Well, so it Coakley, appears as if we're being used to set the climate in America. Mr. Coakley, what gestures have you made toward, uh, toward racial understanding and equality? Well, first, uh, it should be said that during the time that I was in the mayor's per uh, office, not one single person accused me of abusing the power that I had within my control. In fact, it strikes me as strange, the Jewish Federation in Chicago used to pass confidential documents to me to take to the mayor prior to anyone even seeing them. That surely doesn't sound like a person who was mistrusted. And I could tell you that in Chicago, we're coming forward with blacks who really represent the black community and disregarding those blacks chosen by Jews for these dialogues, ventilation sessions. We're coming forward with some real leadership. We're coming out to propose a research project where we can go back to the beginning of time and trace the relationships between blacks and Jews to assess just where this problem started. It didn't start in the civil rights movement. It didn't start in the late in the early 1900s when they started the NAACP and the Urban League. It started back in the beginning of time. And Mr. unless Robin, we have this study, I'd we like won't resolve really, the conflict. You know, I'd like to say it started with people like Jesse Jackson and people like Coleman Young and people like this fellow, Mr. Coakley. That's people who are jealous of Jews. The reason there is black Jewish strike today is because these blacks are jealous of Jews. And that's the only reason. <laughs> Well, Jealousy quite frankly, success. quite frankly, you can't make it, and we can. Well, quite frankly, Irvin, even in Israel, Sephardic and Jews, Irv. Sephardic name is Jews, Irv. Sephardic, Sephardic Jews who are of color are also discriminated against by European and Soviet Jews. I think this problem is bigger than we ever assessed, and All the right, Jews, gentlemen. especially white Jews, have a problem.